So we got the LG Nitro. <laughs> the Nitro is kind of cool. <laughs> it is, I have to say. <laughs> See, Ray, it's so awesome. cool, Ray can't even concentrate. That was so awesome. That intro, I love it. All right, let's, let's go and talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. All right, we're, we're talking about the LG Nitro. I think we're just having too much fun here. We really are having a lot of fun. Um, I am I am actually drinking uh, Oma Gang, uh, Rare Voss. The Three Philosophers, of course, Oma Gang as well. And just great beer. Oma Gang, um, great company up in Cooperstown, New York, right here in our home state. And um, we I mean, I, I this is like my fourth or fifth time drinking drinking beer from them um, not today <laughs> over the past month maybe two months he was like man he's an alcoholic too jeez uh, yeah so it's good beer it's good beer but I'm sorry we, we, we digress here we're, we're dads on tech and we're talking about beer and now we're gonna go talk about the LG Nitro so price point um, two year contract Mr. Green has it right there two year contract is uh, 24 I'm sorry $249.99 um, you have an online discount for now I think and so the total comes out to about 149 and change. So um, I'm not sure how long that 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 discount's gonna last, but um, if I were you, I go out there and if you're looking for a new phone, um, maybe you should go and check it out. So Zev, what are, what are the stats here, man? Yes. So LG Nitro. So we have a 4.5 inch display. It's a <clears throat> 1.5 uh, gigahertz uh, dual core processor. Pretty good. A 4G LTE AT&T network. Okay, mm. which I will touch upon. Uh, an 8 megapixel camera here, 1.3 on the front. Uh, DLNA wireless media streaming. It's got uh, 1080p HD video, which is pretty great. Uh, yeah. Pretty great. Uh, of course, the front facing camera. Uh, it uses Android 2.3, uh, gingerbread, and is ice cream ready. Oh, very ice nice. Yes, yes. That's impressive. That was, uh, yes, ice cream sandwich ready. Um, Bluetooth, of course, and acts as a mobile hotspot hot if you pay for the yeah. hotspot. 20, 20 bucks a month, right? Yeah, 20 bucks like a month. That. I, I think a, that they're changing the plans a little bit, coming up I, a little bit, but we'll see. Okay. I mean, I really mean, I, I'm with AT&T, so I use that, and yeah. we both have uh, hotspots with, with AT&T. I pay about 20 bucks a month, I think it is. Right. And um, Although I don't use it uh, a whole lot, um, when I do use it in a pinch, it's, it's very, very helpful, especially when we're in the car. Uh, my wife and I are driving at a long distance, and my son is being kind of a pain in the butt because he's been sitting for too long. Give right. me the iPad, turn on the 3G hotspot, and it is boring. You know, sitting there, like, just strapped into his chair. He just He's like, <laughs> all righty now. Um, so what we do is that we give him the iPad, and we turn, turn, on, turn on the mobile hotspot, and um, he'll watch his movies or, or, or plays online games or whatever. So... I will go through the pros here. So it's a 720 display. The display happens to be very good. As Ray can attest to, we took some pictures at the event and uh, and after that, and the color uh, the the color similarities or, or realistic color, I should say, they uh, are is is so good. It's yeah. so good. I mean, just step back. I mean, we we took a picture of that Ducati. Right. Right. Red solid cherry red Ducati. Beautiful, I mean, candy apple red. I mean, just a beautiful mu a bike, right? So we took the picture with the LG, that that, and that color transitioned over to the phone, right? Right. Then there was a Samsung phone. I forget what it was. Unfortunately, it's one I of the Galaxy ones. I forget which okay. one it was. So then I, we took a picture with that phone, mm -hmm. and the, that candy apple red became orange. Yeah. So I was like, wow, this is a, this is a big difference. So it was really nice to see that the fact that you know, yes, the you know. You know, LG is saying, listen, our camera's better, our screen's better for these reasons, and and they prove it to us. So, and the next pro is LTE. So the AT&T LTE network, the 4G LTE network. Uh, now, granted, very few phones are actually using this network, so you have to kind of keep this, uh, you know, take this with a grain of salt. But I've been in the New York City area. I've been getting between, on average, 28 to about 33 but bursting up as high as 58 megabits per second on on that phone on this phone right here 58 on AT -T's megabits on AT&T's LTE network yes it's 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 crazy basically that's insane to give you an idea of what that means is that when you go to the marketplace and you hit install it yeah. goes uh, download install 
installed. Like that, it's just <laughs> that's literally how fast wow. it goes. Um, that's amazing. I, I don't think I've ever experienced. I mean, I think yeah. when I used to have the HP Plus phones with T-Mobile, I think I got about high as ten megabits per second. Right. And the Verizon ones, they burst. It goes yeah. between. I mean, I've gotten between seven and fourteen, maybe bursting up to twenty and change. Right. Even on the T-Mobile phones, bursting up to twenty and change. But bursting um, to fifty, that's incredible. Fifty-eight megabits per second, and I did it a couple times just to make sure it wasn't lying. That's and, incredible. Uh, very fast. Incredible. Very fast. And again, I mean, going back to the hotspot argument, mm -hmm. I mean, you're, if you're running, let's say on average twenty megabits per, twenty megabits per second, and you have two, three kids in the car. You know, one with their, you know, online, I mean, I'm sorry, one with like, a, you know, an iPad or whatever the case might be. I mean, they can get on and have a great time. Leave Absolutely. You drive. So that okay. those are the great things. I'll tell you, I like the interface. The LG did a great job on their UI. I really like it. Um, everything is where I expect it to be. And, uh, and some of the visual UI elements are, are definitely appreciated. Um, so great job, LG. So some of the cons. Um, I hate these dinky little, uh, mm. these USB cover uh, pieces. I don't know why. I don't know. I either don't have it or yeah. have the slider. Otherwise, it's this, like an afterthought. It, it, this is gonna break. It's gonna break. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's an afterthought. It's like, oh crap, uh, we've got to cover it up as well. And then um, uh, one of the other issues is, uh, even though it has a dual core processor, and I have to say this is pretty much on every Android phone, not necessarily on this one specifically, but there is oftentimes this lag. You touch a button, you swipe the screen, and it just kind of sits there stuttering. And I don't know where it is exactly, but it happens. It, it yeah, really it does. does. Um, you don't get that with other with, with other operating system phones as much as you do. And you see it with ubiquity across all Android phones. So that's sure. just a lagging uh so to speak um, yeah. concern um and of course the battery life um now they post all the battery lives on 3g they don't mm -hmm. post battery life results or expectations on 4G. really yes that's curious if you look at the sites it's all <clears throat> 3g curious. expectations yeah. so take that as you may on 4g sure. it, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna yeah, suffer you're gonna on suffer. it on 4g you're gonna suffer on 4g i mean but it's it's it is it has nothing to do with that phone, right. per se. Right. It's just the fact that the LTE radio is a resource hawk. It's mm -hmm. a battery hawk. It wants power. Right. So no matter what phone you have in your hand today that's running on the LTE network with an LTE radio, you are going to suffer. Right. It's the, until batteries get better or some other technology comes out that can actually feed the battery as it's on, um, that's going to be your problem, yeah. unfortunately. But. So as a result, we hmm? give this uh, three remotes. Yes, but a very solid three remotes, it's almost at a four. Yeah. But there are a couple of concerns there that you know yeah. that give it a very good, respectable yeah. three remotes. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I really like. I, I have to tell you, this is the first LG phone that I've I've tested, and likewise, uh, and yeah. I really like it. Yeah. Well, the fact that the LG doesn't have a a, a really large uh, footprint right. in the US, so that that's the main reason. But um, good. I'm glad you like it, man. Very awesome. cool. All right, All right, guys, you heard it from here. Zev likes it. Uh, we give it three remotes, almost a four almost. because of a few issues. And um, you might be able to get it uh, for 150 bucks, less than 150 bucks, if you go now, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Go, right. go down to Best Buy and see what you can get. Absolutely. Take All it right. easy, guys. Take it easy, everybody. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. That thing right there. Actually, nine bucks. All right. Yeah, it's about like eight ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the most expensive one was the wait. The three philosophers was ten bucks. Eight ninety nine. Oh wow! I paid ten here. Oh wait, well, I'm sorry, eleven bucks. I paid eleven bucks here. I, I, you know, it's Staten Island. You gotta. <laughs> of course, yeah, I got it. <laughs> the transportation charge. Yeah, you gotta pay for the drunk people to drive across the bridge. Wow, well, I, <laughs> I gotta.